Ladies and gentlemen, here they are once again for your halftime entertainment, the Laker Girls. It was lovely, dear. Heidi von Leer, Constance Harrison's granddaughter. Harrison Oil. baby graduates junior college. <laughs> Tracy, come on over here with you, Dad. I want to get another picture. Congratulations. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Look at the another. sign back there. Congratulations. Okay, okay here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we miss a surprise? Marshall, Tracy, yeah. I am so sorry. Mm, congratulations, honey. I was going to blame Seth for being late, but for once he got out of court early. Oh. <laughs> so I want to hear all about your graduation. Well, it's not like I, you. I mean, there's no ceremony. We anything. were at the doctor's. Marsha Catherine, you've never been sick in your life. We'll talk about it tomorrow, Mom. This is Tracy's party. Just so nothing's wrong. Not unless you consider becoming grandparents a disaster. <laughs> we just got the test results back. And the doctor says it's too early to tell, but of course, I'm predicting twins. <laughs> the Lakers have the lead. Cooper's got the ball. Cooper holds it up in the backcourt. He picked up the dribble to give the ball to Worthy. They gotta hurry. Worthy gets it to the front court with two seconds left on the 10 count. Now the ball given off to AC Green. It's all pumped up tonight. Got room on the sofa for you, old dad. <laughs> How's the game going? Good. Oh. Remember when we used to live in L.A.? He used to take you to all those games. You yelled so loud, I lost my voice. <laughs> No one could believe someone your size could eat all those liquor dogs. You remember that? <laughs> Usually you start about how I danced on my seat with the Laker girls. No. Oh. <laughs> Here you are. I'm sorry, we can't stay longer. Oh, you have to go? The cocktail party with the Bar Association. Oh. <laughs> I must do. Congratulations. and then as he stumbled, he threw it in. 20 second timeout. As the Laker girls get ready, and before we pause for station identification, the girls ask me to mention the tryouts for the new squad are coming up for all of you young women who love dancing. The tryouts will be held right here in Los Angeles. Hello? Pick me for the ballet company. You certainly sound happy. What did Mrs. Beasley say? That I had a lovely ethereal quality, which means I'm not too fat. <laughs> but she wants me to take extra point classes, so I'm... Grandma, you're not saying anything about how wonderful this is. Darling, you know we've always been honest, no matter what. Oh, this is very, very hard, but I've got to tell you. Why do you do? How much? I beg your pardon? My grandmother told me you phoned and asked her for a contribution. All she didn't tell me was how much. Of course, I hoped we could count on her support. After all, she is a generous patron of the arts. How expensive was the bribe to pick me for the company? I see. How much? Half a million dollars. One more thing. Would you have picked me anyway? Mom, I don't need to think it over. I mean, I love to dance. And I've been a fan of the Lakers my whole life. I mean, what do I have to lose if I go to L.A. and try out for the Lakers? Only all the money you saved. I mean, suppose when you get back, you just can't find a job right away. Suppose... Suppose I get picked to be a Laker girl. I mean, suppose they love me. Mom, for once, why can't you suppose something positive for me? Oh, honey, I do. I always only want what's best for you. I... How realistic is it for anybody to get picked? Not just you. You know, you wouldn't be saying this if it was Marsha. No, if she wanted to go to L.A., you'd be helping her pack her bags. Tracy, that is so unfair. You are every bit as wonderful as Marsha. No, Marsha went to IU. I only went to a junior college. Marsha was the homecoming princess and married a lawyer, but all I am is some car hop on roller skates who will I love both my girls. I love you to pieces. Tracy, if I ever, ever made you feel less, it's just not true. If you want to try this, really want to, go ahead. 
You can always come back here. We'll always love you, honey. Brenda, I don't understand. How could they cancel your grant? Politicians call it diminished expectations. And just when I thought we were already on rock bottom. Well, I'm not gonna quit. Well, then you better hope we strike oil in the alley because the cash register is empty. We got no money for salary for anybody. Margo, I'm sorry. I would have never asked you to move here from Berkeley had I known hey, all this no, was listen. gonna happen. Coming home was my idea. All you did was say yes. Margaret, growing up here, you know how much there is to do. You really want to help these kids? Then finish your teaching credential. And then come back here and help us turn things around. Why couldn't I stay on here as a volunteer? I could find an apartment and get a part-time job. In what? The service industry? Which means counting pieces of fast fried chicken into a bag? So damn unfair. This place is wonderful, and you are so good with these kids. Margo, honey, if heart was cash, you'd be a Rockefeller for sure. your mother some people have all the luck are you two fighting again no of course not sweet as fudge she wants to get married again not Paolo the one from Argentina why aren't there any honest American gigolos anymore at least this one doesn't have a phony title though I understand his polar ponies are very well bred well maybe this time it's really love oh, darling five is nobody's lucky number I know one thing for sure. I never want to be loved for my money. Not by a ballet company, certainly not by a husband. Not by anyone. Darling, people are always up for something. I remember when I was your age, I was in a show on Broadway, coming down the staircase in nothing but white feathers. <laughs> I was afraid men said they loved me because they thought I was beautiful. Yeah, but at least that was you. Being born rich is just an accident. Sometimes I wish it had never happened to me. Darling, I'm afraid I didn't do such a perfect job with your mother. I'm gonna try much harder with you. <laughs> I'll call you when I get there. Did I mention how proud I am of you for going, huh? I think so. No, I mean especially proud, because Tracy, we never talked about this before, but I was your mom's second choice, you know. I mean, yeah, she, I she had her mind and her heart set for somebody else. And when your sister was born, your mother went nuts over her, saw her doing the things that, that she hadn't done. And well, you know, I'm not Marsha, Dad. She's the one. Nah. That... And then when you came along, it was like, here's somebody just for me somebody special and now seeing you go off like this and taking a chance like this it... proud just doesn't say it you know I... I love you pop <laughs> Philip what's going on where's my grandmother right here darling morning. Isn't it a radiant day? What are you doing? Granting your wish, of course. The one you made yesterday, when you said you wanted to be judged for yourself alone. What are you I'm leaving for Paris. I'll be at my house there. And I'm leaving you a choice. First class to New York, then the Concorde to Paris. Good any time you want to give up. Give up what? Being a real person. Making it on your own, without the family checkbook behind you. Or... 
You mean find a job? I understand that's what real people do. You'd have been welcome to stay here, but unfortunately I made plans to close the house. That's no problem. L.A. has plenty of apartments. I have another solution. What about the beach house? Oh, that'd be wonderful of you. But I'll take it only if I can pay for it. Careful, because I'll pledge the money to charity if you accept. You really don't think I'll try this, do you? You think I was all talk yesterday. Frankly, I don't doubt for an instant that's what you want. But let's face it, darling, you were raised to be helpless. I can do lots of things. You don't have any idea. I'm sure I don't. Where's he going with my car? Real people don't drive cars like that. They get around in. The keys are in the glove box, and so's the payment book. I won't be intimidated. I love you, darling. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot. The utilities are being turned off day after tomorrow, so you better make up your mind fast. <laughs> So many? I know, me neither. Hi, my name is Tracy. Hi, my name, my name's Jenny. Jenny McDonald. When you sign up, you will receive a number. This is your tryout identification. Please affix it to your damn clothes. So have you had many dance lessons? Some. Watch out. Sounds like a sleeper to me. <laughs> but I've never had a paying job before. I, I mean, I don't have this job, but if I got this... Uh, I mean, I need a job, and this sounded like fun. Yeah, hey, there's nothing better than dancing and getting paid for it. And being around the Lakers. I've been a fan since I was six years old. <laughs> well, I don't need to tell you guys. <laughs> yeah, a whole lot of bodaciousness in gym shorts. You think she's a celeb? She sure is to someone. Welcome to our first round of tryouts for this year's edition of the Laker Girls. My name is Julie Spencer, and I'm with the Laker organization. Let me introduce our panel of judges. This is Beth, our choreographer. This is AZ, a former Laker girl who is now with the organization. And Cynthia, a former Laker girl. Now, for our first elimination, we would like you to do a series of turns across the floor like this.
work part time for the sports channel that covers the Lakers game. But this is just a record for Julie. Oh, so it'll never be on the air. Right. Oh. Well, have a nice time. Thank you all. We have some very hard thinking and talking to do, and then we'll be back with the names of the semifinalists. <laughs> We've cut the list to 75 semifinalists. This was the best group of hopefuls we've ever seen and the hardest selection process we've ever had. For those of you not on the list, we thank you for your participation and enthusiasm. Congratulations on being our semi-finalists. You will come back two weeks from today, at which time we will interview each of you. You will take a written test about the Laker team, and you will each do your own choreography. Now, go home, go to work, come back in two weeks with some routines that will roll our socks up and down. Good luck. That's Bart Jeffress, shooting guard. Lots of flash, but a little shaky in the clutch. Last man on the team. One word, trouble. He's cute, though. <laughs> Two words, sexy trouble. <laughs> Why is this big, big, big sexy trouble? Listen, when you're last man on the team, you got a lot of free time, and he spends it chasing. Every time you open a newspaper, he's there with a different stunner. You look back, you turn to a pillar of salt. Oh, hey, did you make the cut? <laughs> yes. Me, you would. Really? Jenny? Hey. I was just thinking. I didn't realize how much I wanted to make the finals until I was holding my breath to see if I got picked. <laughs> me too. But now that I can breathe again, I'm sweating money. Oh, tell me. But I thought it was pushy to ask how much they're paying unless I get picked. No, I mean living in L.A. for two weeks. I mean, until the next round. I, mean, I have a cheap hotel, but still, it's two weeks. I might be looking for roommates. You could stay with me. I'd love it. So happens I might be in the market. Do you have a big place? It's this cottage out at the beach. I could use some help with the rent. Well, I mean, anything at the beach has got to be pretty. What she's asking is how much. Split three ways we could manage. Why don't you just come look at it before you say no? Does that mean we have a deal? Wait, I'm waiting for the rest of the story, like we get this great place at a very reasonable rate, but we have to do an occasional mob killing on the side. I told you, the owner's in Europe. We're almost doing a favor by staying here. Well, maybe we should move in and unpack, sort of stake a claim before they change their mind. Well, it is better than perfect, but I don't... Well, listen, why don't you debate? I'm gonna get my bags out of the car, okay? 
Why do I get this feeling any second the cops are gonna pull up and arrest us for breaking and entering? But if you want to say no, I guess I'll just have to go to the next name on my list. I'll try and remember who that was while I helped Tracy with her bags. Wait! I can live rich. A place like this is worth a prison record. So, I figure if I dance six nights a month, plus rehearsals, then I have enough cash to finish my teaching credentials and keep on at the center. It's perfect. You know, I never dreamed I'd earn money dancing. I started gymnastics in junior high school. You know, I was voted best splits in cheerleading camp. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so how about you, Jenny? Why'd you leave New York? Yeah, hey, aren't there more dance jobs there? Yeah, a lot. Sorry. It was just really important for me to leave. Why? What happened? I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to cry. Was it a man? You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it wasn't a man. Then it had to be money. You might say that. Savings run out? Um, well, I was on a ballet scholarship and... Uh... And you lost it? Hey, that is nothing to be embarrassed about. You know, I know what it's like when the money runs short. Well, even if it hadn't happened like that, I, I want to start fresh. Do you think maybe we all did? Well, here's to new friends and new dances. <laughs> you can be a Laker girl. What we want to know is why. Well, the dancing, of course, because that means so much to me. Are you kidding? Uh, money? <laughs> And you get to dance and hang around the Lakers? Uh, season tickets. But also being part of a squad of friends working together. Well, it's a chance to be around all these half-naked men with great legs. And Jack Nicholson sits in the front row. I really believe in basketball. squad because they think it's a way to a career in the movies. How do you feel about that, Libby? Well, I'd be dishonest if I said that wasn't a consideration because I do want a career very much. Thank you. But just as important, I know that the Laker girls do public service and being on the squad would give me a chance to put something back into the community at the same time. I don't want a career. All I need is a husband, three kids, and a house in the suburbs. You think that being a Laker girl will... Oh, absolutely. All the best men in L.A. come to the games. And will, confidentially, my dream date is a dentist from Brentwood. Tell me who your favorite Laker is and why. Magic. No. No, Worthy. Yeah. No, Coop. Coop, yeah, Coop for sure. <laughs> Pat Riley. Could I choose him? No. AC. AC. Um, offense or defense? My favorite. <laughs> Can I think about this for a second? My 
favorite Lakers retired, the immortal Mr. Jabbar, I'm still inspecting candidates as replacement. Laker girls, but we have to say no to most of you. So thank you to everyone for being semi-finest. And here are the new Laker girls. And when I call out your number, please join us up here. Number 67. I'm all packed. Do you have to go? We have plenty of room. You know I don't want to. Stay in town. You could get a job. It'd be too tough being around you guys and not being on the squad. Mm. Look, you, got, you better go. You're going to be late for rehearsal. I wish it weren't ending like this. Well, I'll finish loading my car and hit the road. I'm really going to miss you. Take care. Go. <laughs> Laker girls, huddle up. Well, welcome. Your year as a Laker girl will give you tremendous exposure. You will be photographed, interviewed, attention like you've only dreamed of. It'll be absolutely wonderful. But if that's all you get from being a Laker girl, it'll be an absolute waste. Julie, I know I speak for all the girls. We don't want to disappoint you. What about rules? Only one. You represent the Lakers at all times. Don't do anything to detract from that reputation. Uh, suppose Jack Nicholson does ask me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's between you and Jack. What's between you and me is you break my rule, you're off the squad, no second chances. Got it? Got it. Yes. yes. 
Well, I wish you all a terrific year, and I turn you over to Beth. All right, let's get um, lined up by height. Everyone go ahead and spread out. We're gonna start with some very basic moves. My philosophy of dance is if you don't have fun, the fans won't have fun. Now, does everyone here love to dance? Yeah? No, I mean love to dance. Yeah! All right. All right, well, let's get started. Here we go with the right foot. This is one, two, three, and four, five. Six, add your arms, and eight. Great, it's gonna break on up, okay? And do a high V. Now with me, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, now on your own, let's go. Five, a little quicker. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and four, five, six, and eight. Good job, you guys are hot. Julie, I'm Tracy. Hi. Hi. I tried out, but I didn't make the squad. And, and I'm not here to ask you to change your mind about not taking me as a Laker girl. I was real disappointed, but I understand. Oh, well, what is it then? Well, I have a business proposal for you. I want you to hire me as your assistant to work with the Laker girls. What? As your assistant to work with the Laker girls. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't need anyone to. I, I expected you to say that. Otherwise, you'd already be looking, right? So my first obligation is to explain what I can do for you. Like what? Well, I graduated from a junior college with a degree in marketing, so I could sell the girls, you know, with a poster or, or a calendar. Well, we have both. What about franchising the Laker girl idea into high schools or even colleges? <sighs> Frankly, we already have a sales team in place. How about a personal assistant, coordinating all the details that take up all your time? My secretary is an ace. Look, try me out, OK? <laughs> I mean, if I can earn my way, keep me. It won't cost you much to find out. If I'm right, it'll be the best decision you've ever made. You really want it that much? <sighs> ever since I was eight years old, when my dad took me to my first game, I thought the girls were the most beautiful, wonderful thing I'd ever seen. It's about the time that I was dancing in the line. Here's the deal. You've got a chance. But it's probationary, depending on... Thank you on... so much. <laughs> I promise you won't be sorry. Should I get out of here before you change your mind? Be here tomorrow at 9, and good luck. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Remember me? Right. I predicted you'd make the squad, and you did. Today was the first practice. Mm. Maybe you'd like to go out and get um, some coffee and celebrate? I have to get back to class. See, working here is a way to get through film school. Really? Yeah. That sounds fascinating. If you love 14-hour stretches in an editing room, <laughs> which I do. <laughs> well, maybe next time. The coffee, I mean. Tell me something. Do you have a boyfriend? Not yet. You will. Five minutes into the first quarter of the first game, you'll have 50. Minimum. I guarantee it. as Julie's assistant. I went and I sold her on the idea of me being a That's great. <laughs> Hello. Hello, 
up, huh? Hi, it's me. Tracy, how'd it go? What, how was the audition? What did they say? I got a job with the Lakers. You, Nancy, Nancy, come in here. Uh, Tracy made the squad. She's a Laker girl. Honey, this is the best news that I've ever had. Uh, Pop, no, you, di you didn't let me finish. It's, it's not what you think. Honey, I know exactly what to think. You're the greatest. I always knew that you would make it. And just, just between us, I knew you wouldn't let me down. Huh? Well, thanks, Pop. Um, listen, I have to go, all right? Tell Mom and Marsha I love them, and I'll call in a couple days. Uh, all right, then you call. All right, bye-bye. Hey, Nancy. but it's what we've all been working for. What I don't want you to forget is we love to dance. Major talent agency, things hold the line. I can try, Mr. Weisberg, but I know he's in a meeting all morning. Well, I'd appreciate it if you'd let him know I'm here anyway. Oh, and could you mention that I'm a Laker girl? I have two floor seats for tonight's game. I wonder if he might know anybody who'd like them. Libby, it's great to meet you. Listen, I'm sorry we haven't gotten together sooner, but I've been in New York and... Are you really a Laker girl? Believe me, I've been swamped. Mid-season pilots Oh, and... believe me, Jeff. I understand completely. And tonight, I can promise you a performance you'll never forget. Here, use mine. It's a perfect shade for you, and you do have beautiful eyes. Hi, girls. I just came back to wish you all good luck. Break a leg. Libby, these were just delivered for you. Oh, thank you. Wow. The best florist in town. At least the most expensive. Really? Have you used them? No, but my grandma, um, somebody sent her some from there once. I wonder who could have loved Jack. Jack? Jack Nicholson? Oh, no, it couldn't be. It must be someone else. Though he can be so romantic. Do this. I can't do Take this. Take a breath. I... Take a breath. You don't understand. I can't remember any of the steps. I cannot remember any no of the steps. No sweat. Look, st they kick you out. You can only sell Laker dogs. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are once again. Miles. Laker girl.
a minute, Libby. Good luck. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know how it could have happened. I don't know. I'm just sure it'll never happen again. Thousand people watching us every time we perform. By any chance, is this the dentist from Brentwood Beach again? Okay, if 10,000 of them are men and 5,000 of them are single and available, and I work 40 games, how many possible dates is that? Skip all that. Head right for the duck and orange sauce. I didn't know you were a food expert. Oh, all delicacies are my specialty. Besides, it's the same menu as last year. Hi, I'm Bart Jeffers. <laughs> the most underutilized Laker. I read the sports page. Oh, I'm glad you're utilized. I read the memo from Julie about your job. I thought it was a raw duty to make the squad. You know, I sure hope your shooting gets better than your line. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I also read the style section. You're also the most photographed Laker, always with a different girl. You don't believe me that I remember you from the tryouts. You were wearing a black sweater. You're with a girl in blue top and a brunette. I take that back, you know, about how bad your line is. It's almost impressive. Hey, I'm a very sensitive guy. Why do I suspect you'll recover? Only if you be my partner in volleyball. I was just challenged to a two-man, two-person. Possibly. Maybe. OK. Great. <laughs> Good. Go change. I'll meet you on the court. Show you some secret moves. Excuse me. I'm really embarrassed, but my straps have come untied and I can't reach them. Do you think you might rescue me? You look like you don't believe it's me. Actually, I was uh, looking for the hidden camera. Like I asked for some designer water with lemon, and I get something that squirts me by surprise. <laughs> Just one of my many lives. Very helpful for observing humanity in my future career as a filmmaker, and very necessary for my present career as a student. The real reason I came over was to thank you for saving me the other night, and I froze. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing? A case of amnesia and total paralysis? You'd have been terrific as soon as the music started. Anything else? My roommates and I are having some people over to watch the game next week when the team goes to Chicago. I was wondering if maybe you'd like to... Sorry. Even starving students don't do private parties during the week. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, I want to invite you as a guest. Oh. Thanks. Um, but I still can't. Excuse me, I'm out of ice. Tracy, hey, what's wrong? Nothing. What do you call terminal stupidity? Nothing. I feel like such a dope. I mean, to think for a second that a player like Bart could what? Be interested in you? Why not? Come on. Oh, what? Because you're not a Laker girl? <laughs> that is the most ridiculous thing. You should be grateful that you're not. Why? Why? They're all conceited, bubble-headed airbrains. They're all smile. That's completely unfair. Maybe. Maybe they're all potential Nobel laureates. But my rule is never, never get involved with a performer. You know the old joke. What would a performer be without her mirror? Lonely. And that goes double when she's dancing in spandex. Hey, look, before you punch me out, I have to go pedal my hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Thank you. 
Could I ever? Thanks. I changed my mind. I'm swell on my own. You know, I'm such a good guy, I'm gonna overlook your hostility. Well, don't. It's aimed right at you. After you stood me up for volleyball? I stood? <laughs> no, I came out and you were very busy with another girl. Libby? Was there another girl? We were warming up waiting for you. She asked if we needed a fourth to hit with. Look, why don't you just cut it out, okay? I know exactly what you are and I'm not interested. You can just say that, that for stubborn. some other... You're that stubborn. Yes. Then I don't have anything to lose, do I? Try that again and... Hold it. Hold it. Once was enough. Well, once is the only chance you'll ever get. I'd much rather stand out here till the middle of next week. Terrific. You may get your chance. Your distributor's cracked. steps together. Right here, just the two of us. Just a couple. But you're a great dancer. Here, why don't you hold my hand and we'll try together. sometime? Maybe. Good. Because I love doing it with you. What do you like most about coming here, Chili? Well, nobody yells and nobody fights or gets shot. Nobody can hurt me here. I'll be right back, okay, honey? Hey, we'll try it again, okay? You know, the first few months she came here, she wouldn't even talk to us. Today's the first time she's done more than just watch. What was she talking She's had a lot of terrible violence in her life. She's lucky to be alive. And this place, the only place they look forward to coming to, we're gonna have to close down. We have enough money to last maybe two more months, and then... How much do you need? Too much. Wipe your eyes before you come back in, okay? You out here scouting for the Pistons? 
You don't have to be embarrassed. I've decided to forgive you. Don't even have to apologize. The only apology I'd ever give you would be delivered with brass knuckles. You can't scare me. I'm red hot. I saw you play against Golden State. Four assists, six points. I was red, red hot. Lakers ahead by 20. They put you in. Let's just say you weren't embarrassing. Red, red, red hot, huh? You made a joke. You can't still be mad. Well, when I'm playing for money, I'm the laughing assassin. A game of around the world, loser buys dinner. A very expensive dinner. Want to take a few warm-ups? OK, if I. Well, <laughs> well, if you promise you won't laugh, because I told you once before, I'm a very sensitive guy. When you're the 12th man on a world championship team. You try harder? Not just try. See, my dad was my high school coach, and he had this theory that talent was only a start. You know, he gave me the speech at supper every day from the time I was seven years old. Are you sure you want to hear this? Absolutely. Absolutely. That statistically, out of every million guys playing varsity high school ball, only one would ever make the pros. That's not an exaggeration either. You had it all worked out. And he wanted you to be that one in a million. He made me want it. And it worked, too. All through high school, then college, I trained 12 months a year, extra time in the weight room, extra laps. And you made it. Look at you. You're a Laker. <laughs> Hanging on. Still running those extra laps, still trying to beat those odds. I understand. Do you? Do you have any idea what it's like to want something so much that if there's any fairness, you'd get it? To wake up in the middle of the night wanting it more than you can so friendly, and then sometimes he's so aloof, I feel like he's wrapped up in plexiglass. Maybe you should concentrate on someone else, you know? I think you need just a little encouragement. Do you know that he's always looking at you when he thinks you're looking someplace else? I, of course, have eyes in the back of my head. You mean <laughs> give it a real shot? Or maybe not. You know, maybe it's too much work, especially when you have all those other guys phoning Don't you. Don't and... listen to her. Take advice from Dr. Love. Learn from the Lakers. You've got to fly high, fast break. Lots of style. Go for it. <laughs> know how important this is. Believe me, I'm completely sympathetic to the idea of a children's center. But may I very gently point out, you're still solving your problem with my checkbook. It isn't the same thing. This isn't for me. That's not the point. Your reflexes are still to deal with difficulty with family cash. Not your own sweat. Jenny, shut up. Grandma, they're ready for me. I do understand. I love you. Okay, does everyone have Sorry. their candy kisses? Oh, uh, Jenny, I had to talk to you about this afternoon. Why I was so negative about Rick. Oh, no, he's got a girlfriend? 
He's secretly married. Worse, he thinks you're all bubbleheads. What? No minds, none. Air. He thinks we're superficial. Did I mention brainless? Oh, oh yeah, and also conceited. So I don't think he's real promising date material. How can anyone be so unfair to stereotypes like that? I mean, the nerve. Wait till I... I'll tell him. One tip before you tell him how serious we are. Take off your antlers. Ladies and gentlemen, a very special gift for your holiday pleasure. A very special guest with our own Laker girl. Hey, Prancer, you got a present for me? Why, of course! Santa! You know, I've been thinking some more about your shoe endorsement contract. Don't you ever quit? Never. Now, Magic and Air Jordan, these guys all endorse shoes. Have you ever thought maybe that's because they're Magic and Air Jordan? Shoe manufacturers don't fight over the number 12 man on a team. That's so obvious. See, we'll sell your shoes with a slogan. When you're the last man on the team, you need all the help you can get. That's why I wear X-brand shoes. It's great, right? Since when did you become my manager? Well, I'm not. I just, I just have these ideas and... And I have to run 20 more of these. Come on or wait. Just no more talk. Last one up by his breakfast. Hey. <laughs> hey. How's it going? Fine, thank you. Hi. Hi. Tracy told me you were here. Are you helping out? Uh, yes. Actually, I'm pretty busy right now. Oh, well, this will only take a minute. Oh, um, I've got some phone calls to make. Excuse me. Actually, I thought you'd be coming to see me. Really? Yeah. I thought you'd be wondering if I'd recovered from those second-degree bruises from those flying candy kisses. Oh, it was thoughtless. Spontaneous, maybe even reckless. Just the sort of thing that a bubble-headed air brain might do. Tracy uh, told you. Yes. I've certainly made mistakes in my life. I've done things that I've been ashamed of. But I've never, never stereotyped... Oh, wait, wait. Let me say. I judged a whole group of people without really knowing who they are. And that's wrong. I'm sorry. You think it's that easy? To get back in my good graces? I'll bet the safe answer is no. There is one possible way to save yourself. Tell me, do you ever make documentaries? Not if I can help it. They're dead. Well, I promise you, this one isn't. They're about to close because they've lost their grant. But if you make a documentary, we could take it to foundations that could save it. Jenny, there's no story here. At least not one that doesn't run most nights in the 6 o'clock news. How many people have seen a little six-year-old girl who looks like an angel say she loves the center because nobody gets shot there? What about the child whose home is a cardboard box? This means that much to you? I'll do anything to help you. We'll all pitch in. I really did owe you that apology. It's, it's just that it was so much easier thinking like that. See, I know who you really are. Your temptation. And I've seen you around the forum, how everybody likes you, and, and I've thought about how easy it would be to want to spend time with you. But I've got this three-year plan of getting into the business that doesn't have any room for fun. And you think we'd start having fun? Oh, yeah. yeah maybe even lots of fun. And uh, temptation. So it's, it's best that we just don't even start. So we probably won't even talk again. Uh, right. Absolutely. Much less even see each other again. Afraid so. All right, ladies, the idea here is not just happy Valentines, it's hot Valentines. So I want some sizzle here. Come on, guys, it's the first one of my ideas that Julie really likes. Well, she should. It's great promotion. 
front page of the style section? I'm so sorry I'm late. There were 50 girls in on the commercial, and I... Oh, no. What's wrong? I don't know why, but I was sure you said the white outfit. Libby, absolutely not. It's a Valentine's picture. Bet she can't remember the last time she wore white. <laughs> I suppose I don't have time to change, even if I did have the right outfit. No, I'm sorry, but he's on a deadline. It's my fault. I just won't be in the picture. And I could just kick myself. Well, you're only the best photographer in town. Those pictures you did of Princess Diana were fabulous. OK, come on, let's get back to work. What if Cassie moves down and Kim will move? I've got a better idea. You'll be the center of the heart, right oh. here oh, in the middle. All right, the rest of the girls make a pattern. OK, I'm, I'm getting fat because I've gotten so fat. Come on, you no. No. All right, ladies, take a deep breath. Wet those lips and loosen those hips. You're about to experience photographic perfection. People at school are going to be going nuts when they see the first cut of my documentary. I'll bet my teachers might even show it to a festival. You'll be a giant success. Huh. Academy Awards in several categories. Just so that's not why you're with me. Oh, it is. Honesty like that deserves a reward. Hold it. <laughs> Hey, buddy, I need a big bouquet, the best you got. We have some fresh cymbidiums. Rick, what I'd really like is just one perfect rose. Excuse me, you look really familiar. Aren't you? No. Everybody thinks I look like somebody, but I'm not. A Laker girl? I could have sworn. She is the best dancer. She's just modest. Uh, about that bouquet? Fifteen dollars a stem. Another Laker girl is a big customer of ours. Uh, Libby, Libby, every week. Libby buys flowers here? At 15 bucks a stem? Yeah, has some delivered before every home game. To herself? Right, well, says it's a joke. Even has us enclose a card. Love Jack, love Warren. Pretty funny, huh? Not as beautiful as you are. Love, Warren. Warren, baby? Libby? You're the prettiest girl on the line. Everybody thinks so. And the best dancer. Well, what a sweet thing to say. But you don't have to push so hard. You don't have to... What? I know about the flowers. Rick and I were in the shop in Beverly Hills, and you were snooping on me. No! The man recognized me as a Laker girl, and he just happened to mention... Who else knows? Your roommates? You must have told them. Nobody. I just want to help. You want to help me? You're going to make it in this business. You don't have Spare to... Spare me your career advice. From somebody with zero ambition who doesn't care if she ever gets ahead. Who actually believes that I love to dance crap. Let me tell you something, honey. You tell anybody, anybody at all. And you're going to be very sorry. Uh, yeah, it's right down there on the left. Go right ahead. Great, thank you. It's shocking, I know. But I studied Darwin. Her grandmother was a chorus girl. Why not her? I really don't think it's her. I am going to bet you lunch on this. You're going to be shocked. Okay. okay. Wait, wait. Ready? Okay. Hello? Yes? Um, excuse us, but we're looking for a friend. Um, one of you girls. Who? Uh, Heidi Von Leer. Nobody by that name here. See, I told you. No, but I saw her. Um, the pretty brunette on the end. 
That's Jenny. Muffin, Heidi may be a dancer, but she's not a Laker girl. Yeah. Come on. This girl looked exactly like our friend, and Jenny's from New York. Oh, well, so's Heidi. Her grandmother is Constance Harrison. And when I ran into Heidi last week, she told me she was living out by the beach, and... Well... Sorry to bother you. Defense, Jenny! <laughs> What's up? I feel like a high school kid called into the office. It's a great promotion idea that I've been looking for. You gave me the idea, so I wanted you here to take the credit. Oh, let's hear it. It's an exercise video with the girls. Tracy, there are 150 exercise videos right now. But it's more than just exercise or dance routines. You see, we'll get the players to help. They come out and they do a shot or a combination, and the girls demonstrate a move or a stretch that matches it right here on the court. Maybe. And I thought since Spark gave me the idea that he could be the host to kind of tie it all together. Listen, uh, I got to get ready for practice. See ya. I think it's got great possibilities. And there's no sense in waiting till the end of the season to tell you. I am more than pleased with your work. I think you've got a real future with the Laker organization. <laughs> you mean it? Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now get out of here. Bart! Bart, hold it! I have to tell you, Julie made my job permanent. What's wrong? T tell me, I mean, I have great news and you're acting mad. Nothing. I'm not mad. It's great news. Well, you look mad. You're acting mad. I mean, somehow I jumped to the conclusion that Maybe you I are. don't want to be the star of your video. You're upset about that? Beca because I want to do something special for you? I don't want favors. You deserve it. It's great promotion. I don't want to be promoted. I just want to play ball. But promotion is part of that. I it could really help your career. I but... don't want you missing in my life. There. Is that clear enough? Hi, Margo. We have a little problem with our roommate. I want to shoot her. Why? Diary of a debutante, fifth richest heiress in country, undercover on Laker Girls Line. This whole year, she's done nothing but lie to us. I've been sitting here for the last two hours trying to understand. Why the hell didn't you tell us the truth? It wasn't supposed to go this far. The way I trusted you, crying on your shoulder about the center, because I thought you knew about no money. Poor, struggling dancer has to have roommates to pay the rent, have to save money, when all the time you were laughing at me, at both of us. All right, Margo, hold it. I want to hear what Jenny, Heidi, has to say. All I wanted was for people to like me for myself. We do. What would you have in the beginning? If you moved in knowing this was my grandmother's house? Knowing that I didn't have to work? All right, but after you knew us, why didn't you tell us? I wanted to, but I just... But you didn't trust us. I didn't want it to end. 
Well, it sure has for me. I'm out of here. I'm staying at a friend's house. I'll be by in the morning to get my stuff. But why? Margo. I made a mistake. I apologize. That doesn't mean you have to. Don't you get it? When you grow up poor, not having money, it's not something you play games about. What about you? I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, yes, I am disappointed. But I also know how things can happen when you don't really want them to. Connie Harrison, the grandmother from Paris. I'll bet you're Tracy. Yes, I am. It's good to meet you. Well, is she here? Jenny? Heidi? I guess I don't know what to call her. I do. Oh, you must be Margot. I've heard so many wonderful things about your work at the center. Thank you. Well, Jenny went out earlier. Yeah, excuse me. I am evacuating. Margot. I certainly understand why you're upset. This revelation must have just been the last straw in a terrible year with her. It was a wonderful year. Really? Well, I told her she could live here, but only if she paid rent. I bet she practically tricked you into moving in and then didn't pay her share, am I right? No, no, not at all. I, I did the bookkeeping and mailed all the checks. We split everything three ways. Well, <laughs> I'm certain she couldn't pull her weight with the chores. That child hadn't even made her own bed, as far as I know. She wasn't very good at it, but she did try. She still lied to us about who she is. Yes, that was dishonest. But all her life, she's felt that people never saw her for who and what she really was. They couldn't get past the outside. You don't need to teach me about discrimination. Thank you. Well, I won't say anything more, except that uh, she wanted so much to be like you, and to be liked by you. I guess that was a terrible mistake. However you feel about my granddaughter, I assure you she adores both of you. Out to Jeff. Jeff is coming down. Magic up the break. Fire him. He sees where he can a little. Pulls him by himself. See? Swish. Looking good, Jeffers. I'm unstoppable on an empty court. Uh, you look pretty spectacular to me. You know, I was wondering one thing. How crazy I am? Out here before a game acting like a dumb. No. I was wondering if we were still fighting, so I know whether or not I should apologize. Tracy. No, Bart, let me finish. 
Look, I know I was wrong in trying to push you into anything. The shoe contracts, the videos. It's not that. Those are both great ideas. It's just... I just want so much for you, Bart. I know I push. You bludgeon. But I think you're terrific. I know you do. And I think that's tremendous, Tracy, but... What? It's like my dad. I don't want you to be my father. Damn it, you don't want the woman you're in love with to be running your life, making Wait a plans. Minute. <laughs> Did you say... Could you say that one more time, please? I want to be absolutely sure. Now, how are you? I heard about that expose an hour later I was on the Concord. Oh, I'm wonderful. Glorious. So it seems. Unless this is the upside of hysteria. No. I have incredible friends and this great job and this man who's special. My life is so wonderful. <laughs> and it's all because of you. No, my darling. Because of you. <laughs> I tried to find you. I called every place and left messages because you must... I made a mistake once, remember? I judged you on appearances and not for who you are. You are the girl I love. Mind the sweet stuff. We've got a real problem. Sorry. I... Tracy's folks are here all the way from Indiana, and somehow they got the idea, don't ask me how, that she's a Laker girl. So what we're asking for is volunteers. To drop out of the line, just for tonight, so that she can dance with us. It's the last home game. I think we all want to be out there. Maybe the fair thing is to draw straws. If it's so important, possibly one of you should drop out, after all. You're her roommates. We will if we have to. But because we're her roommates, it would really mean a lot to us if we could dance with her. Look, it's a lovely gesture, and I'd love to help. But a lot of TV producers are here tonight because of all the publicity about you. Your life is a movie. Vultures. Are you sure? Are you kidding? She probably phoned them herself. I might have suggested to my agent that he contact them when we had dinner on Monday after the game. Wait a second. The story didn't come out till Wednesday. Did I say Monday? I guess I was so upset for poor Jenny, I was confused. I heard you make that date with your agent Monday before the game. I, I was waiting to use the phone. I was going to call this lawyer I was going out with. You told the papers, didn't you? It might have slipped out. But it was the truth, wasn't it? Oh. You have no idea what it takes to make it in this business, any of you. You don't have the drive, and you sure as hell don't have the guts. Well, I do. You know what you are? You're a real cold bitch. What is going on? What about hey, Libby didn't show up tonight. We're all real concerned. Until we realized that Tracy could dance for her. Her folks are here and they think she's a Laker girl. They came all the way from Indiana to see her. Please. She doesn't know the routine. She practices with us all the time. Couldn't she dance with us? We'd really like it if she could. What is it? Your 10 minute warning. We've got an emergency. Libby didn't show up. Get dressed, you're dancing. No! Oh, and remind me to find Libby for missing the game. I want my <laughs> the officials for tonight's game, 
Hugh Holland, Wally Rooney, oh, I'm and sorry. Jake Oh, excuse Donald. me. Uh, look, I know people probably tell you this all the time, but you... Oh, about being a Laker girl? No, no, you have a perfect occlusion. It's wonderful. Occlusion? You mean, like, teeth? Yeah. yeah. You're a dentist? Yeah. <laughs> Where? Ah, uh, Brentwood. Started my own practice three years ago. Actually, tonight's a kind of celebration. I'm finally past the point of breaking even. I'm sorry, you don't want to hear this. No, no, I do. I do. Well, would, would you like to meet me here tonight, after the game? That is, unless you're married or engaged. Uh, I'm not. I will. I'm Fred. Cassie. Nice to meet you. I'll see you here then. OK. My dentist. Tonight's game is being broadcast. Tracy! Tracy! Over here! Let us go. Come on. You look so cute. You look so cute. Seth gave us plane tickets for our anniversary. We wanted to surprise you. Yeah, honey, I'm so proud of you. Hottest dancer we've got. Most popular girl on the squad. Listen, I have to tell you guys something before you say anything else. I'm not exactly a Laker girl. What? Like an alternate? No, like not one at all. But Tracy, you're in the uniform. No, well, see, my friends fixed it so I could dance tonight. But, Tracy, they picked you out of the tryouts, didn't you say? No, they didn't. I wanted it so bad. But not just for me, but because of you, too. I, I wanted to tell you in the beginning, but somehow you got the idea I was, and I just couldn't tell you the truth. What is the truth? I work for Julie. She's the manager of the girls. I'm her assistant. <laughs> so, you're not a Laker girl. I'm sure that whatever you're doing here is just wonderful. Right. It sure is. She's worked her tail off this year. Lots of great ideas. Tracy, it doesn't make any difference what you're doing as long as you're happy. You'll always be mine. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are. Laker girl. Tracy, we gotta go. Come on, Tracy, we need you in line. If you think I'm going back in that locker room and letting Libby out, you're crazy. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in stands.